This is a review of set 6044, King's Carriage from the Castle Line. It is part of the Royal Knight sub-theme. It was released in the year 1995 and originally retailed for $16.50, and according to the box here, is 120 pieces. Thankfully, I do have the box here. Um, it's a little bit beat up, but I got a pretty good deal on it, so I can't really complain. One interesting thing that I wanted to point out just right off the bat here is this knight here has his legs on backwards to show him his kneeling. And honestly, that just looks really weird to me. Like, his legs are bending straight backwards at the hip. That's not really how kneeling works. So pretty odd to me that they included that on official Lego packaging. Got a picture of the carriage covered up by some warnings. Nothing too much going on over here. Uh, the same picture from the other side, except now we can see the full thing. And then what looks to be a different alternate build on the bottom. And then lastly, two more alternate builds on the back. And then a shot of the king with his treasure. Here are the instructions, and these are in really good condition, so luckily these weren't as damaged as the box. So let's go ahead and start building. So here's the completed set, and let's take a look at our minifigures. Our first two minifigures here are identical Royal Knights. They've got that nice shiny silver uh, chainmail printing. And then of course two Lion Knight symbols on their shields. And each of them has a short sword and a black pith helm with a generic smiley face. And then we have the driver for the carriage, and he is the same as the other two knights we just saw, except he just has the whip instead of the short sword so he can drive the carriage. And then lastly, we have our king minifigure. He came in three sets in this line, one being simply the king on horseback, and then this set, and then the largest one being the Royal Knight's Castle. Unfortunately, this figure here does not come with the cape that the king does in the Royal Knight's Castle, as it would be quite hard to fit the cape inside the carriage. He does have that nice triple-plumed white feather there, and the chrome gold crown, which also looks very regal. His torso printing looks ornate as well. And I am pretty sure that Royal Knights is the first castle theme to actually include a king. Surprisingly, no sets before 1995 included one. So here's the vehicle itself. Um, up front, of course, we have two white horse molds. Very cool that they include two with this set when most other carriages only have one. And then we've got a seat up front for the carriage driver. And then just on the back here, we have a seat hanging off the edge for both of the other knights and they are guarding the treasure chest here which just rests right inside there you can take that out and inside of course we've just got a couple translucent studs and a gold goblet which they really love to include inside these treasure chests and we've got some nice detailing on here we've got these chrome silver swords they unfortunately chip off pretty easily the chroming on old lego pieces do that a lot so I actually had to purchase two new ones when I got this set because the old ones were just so worn away. But they have one on each side, which is great. And then we even have this cloth flag, which also looks really nice. It's got the very vibrant Royal Knights printing on there. And then a oval-shaped larger shield with the Royal Knights insignia. And then the king is easily accessible by lifting up the top here. And you can just pull him out. He is simply sitting on two jumper plates on the inside there. And they have these flaps here, flag flaps, as sort of like a door. And I guess that works, so he can kind of like step down like that. And as with the last Royal Knight set that we looked at, I'm not overly thrilled with the build quality of this. The carriage itself is just very um, awkwardly narrow and tall. And I get that it has to be tall so that the uh, king can comfortably fit his plume in there, which is just kind of ridiculously large for a minifigure. And again, it also looks even more goofy since he doesn't have a cape at all like he does in the Royal Knight's Castle. So as it is, it just feels kind of flimsy, like this right here is not supported by anything. So the best thing that this set does is definitely Royal Knight's army building, since you get three identical knights and then a king minifigure. Now adjusted for inflation, the set would have retailed for $28.44, 
However, current used prices have it at $38.41. And I don't know that it's quite worth $40 yet. Like I said a second ago, the best thing that it provides is army building for Royal Knights. So if you are looking to get a bunch of Royal Knights, this is a cheaper way to do so. But the problem is you also get a bunch of carriages and king minifigures, which, I mean, what are you going to do with multiple kings? Although having multiple horses with it does help a little bit, I think. And you could even give the knights the very cool chrome swords, kind of uh, change the decorations a little bit, which is nice. You could even have one bearing the standard or even give the king the large oval shield. So yeah, overall, I don't really hate this set. Um, I definitely would say I like it more than the previous Royal Knight set that we looked at. But I think there's definitely a reason why these Royal Knight sets have not appreciated as fast as some of the other castle sets from the 90s and 80s. Anyways, that is my review. Thank you for watching.